it went to God. She said she never retaliated, but she prayed. And God saw fit to make her enemies be at peace with her. The very enemies who persecuted her were the ones who eventually asked her for prayer. Thus God changed these enemies to her friends. She would often say, if you hold your peace, God will bring you out. He'll fight your battle. There's nothing too hard for God. Just take him at his word. Mother Annie Mae Bilbin loved to have visitors in her home. She always welcomed you with a big praise the Lord. Come on in and have a seat. You knew that you were going to have a Holy Ghost time in the Lord. Talking about God and His goodness, singing, praying, breaking bread, and just enjoying the fellowship of her company and the presence of God in her home. She also opened her home to the saints for tarry service and as a place to lay their weary heads. Her home was full of love. She loved everyone and she made no hesitation to tell you this. She would say, you have to love if you want to see God. Her words still echo so clearly. If you want to see Jesus, keep that heart clean. Mother Anna Mae Milburn's life was exemplary. Every time we had a conversation with her, she always gave an encouraging word. Mother Milburn was a true daughter of Zion and virtuous woman. She was an inspiration to sisters young and old. You could talk to her about anything and never have to worry about hearing it again. In every situation, she would say, pray. That's all I know is to pray. There are many who could testify about how their lives were affected and changed by this awesome daughter of Zion. Truly, the work she did and the life she lived spoke for her. Mother Annie and Milford loved her pastor, her church family, as well as her natural family. She was not only a daughter of Zion, but she was a virtuous woman. Her price was far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusted in her. She did him good and not evil all the days of his and her life, for she loved and still honored him even in his death. She worked willingly with her hands. She rose while it was yet night and gave heed to her household. She girded her loins with strength. She stretched out her hand to the poor. She reached forth her hands to the needy. Strength and honor were in her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come.